Hello everyone, I am Aditya Sahu, a Technical Marketing Manager at Infoblox. In today's video, I'll be demonstrating you how Infoblox can be integrated with Ansible to automate the process of providing an IP address to a newly created VM and updating its DNS records. Over the last couple of years, Ansible has become one of the most commonly used configuration management tool thanks to its simplicity and easy to use architecture. Today, quite a few organizations are using Ansible to provision VMs on VMware vCenter server because of the rich configuration and management capabilities. Once VM is provisioned using Ansible, multiple infrastructure teams interact with each other to assign an IP address to the VM and to create corresponding DNS records. This approach is inefficient since it's manual error-prone and time-consuming. Now, let's talk about a solution and what it offers. Using Infoblox integrated Ansible playbook not only streamlines the complete VM deployment process, but also automates the IP address assignment and DNS records creation. Ansible playbook deploys VM of an existing template present on vCenter server. During deployment, it makes multiple REST calls to Infoblox appliance to allocate an IP address and to create DNS records. Now, let's quickly look at the workflow to understand various moving parts. First step is to invoke an Ansible playbook by the user. Post invocation, Ansible playbook makes a REST call to get an IP address from an Infoblox appliance. After this, Ansible clones a VM from an existing template and injects the IP address obtained from the previous step. After injecting IP address, Ansible initializes the VM. Post successful initialization, Ansible makes another REST call to create DNS records for this VM in the Infoblox grid. Now let's quickly jump to the live demo. I'm using a Ubuntu based Ansible server and an Infoblox appliance. I have already created a network and an auth forward zone in my Infoblox appliance. DNS records for the virtual machine will be created in this zone. Now let's quickly hop on to our Ansible server and get started. Firstly, I will invoke the Ansible playbook and will punch in my environment details like VM name, resource specifications, and vCenter server details. Here we see that Ansible playbook has started. Now let's quickly log into our vCenter server to validate that the VM provisioning process has started. And here we see that VM creation is in progress. Finally, our VM is created. Let's now log into the VM and verify IP settings and host name. Let's now log into our Infoblox grid and verify that the same details are updated in the grid. And as we can see, Infoblox grid has updated itself with the VM IP details and host name. Integrating Infoblox with Ansible speeds up the process of commissioning a VM. It automates the VM provisioning process in terms of IP address management and DNS record creation. Thank you for watching this video.